friends, it's Amanda here from Fun Hands On Learning. And I'm back to show you my first grader's activities in his work basket for this. These will probably last us a week or two. I leave the activities in their basket until they have completed them or mastered them or I'm ready. I feel like they're ready to move on. Now before I get into his basket really quick, I wanted to show you, I created some skill lists some best benchmarks that I want him to meet for math and for English language arts. These are basically his goals. So I'm going to use these sheets to help me plan what we need to do. These are basically goal sheets or if you are a teacher in a school you know that they're called standards. So basically these are the standards that I'm going to be teaching to. These are all the things I want him to know by the end of first grade. So these, I have three sheets for math and there's different categories like counting and number patterns, addition, subtraction, comparing numbers, place value, data and graphing. I know you can't, can't see it all, but there's, there's different um, categories and then within each category, the different standards or skills are listed for the things that I want him to do. And then the same thing for English language arts. So here we have short vowels and long vowels syllables and consonant letters and things like that. So there's three sheets of those as well. If you're interested in um, having a copy of these, I have them on my website and I'll leave them in a link below so you can check that out. So if you're wondering how do I decide what to put into his work um, uh, basket, then this is how I do it. I, I choose the skills that we wanna focus on for the week in here and then I pull out activities that will meet those skills. So that is what I do with that. Okay, so I'm not going to go through every little thing that I have in his basket or this uh, video will be really long, but I am going to go through some of the different activities. So one of the skills we're going to work on this week is rhyming and that includes um, word families. So short vowel words and rhyming. So I have these word family cards that I made years and years ago. And basically we're just going to pick a word family and we'll go through all of the rhyming words in that word family. Okay, so basically what we're gonna do with these cards is, I'm gonna, we're just gonna take you know, one of the cards each day or maybe a couple cards each day and work on a word family. So let's say we choose this one. This is the am word family, so words that rhyme with am. And then he is going, and this is pretty easy for him. This is the start of first grade. He already did a lot with short vowel uh, CVC words last year, but this is, I think, just a great way to start out the year, start out kind of easy to get him back into the routine. So anyways, what we're gonna do with these cards is I found this cute little um, star, I don't know what you would call it, reader thing at the dollar store it was a dollar and he's just going to use it to read each word so he'll do it like this ham jam ham ram you get the idea and you can read each one and so i thought that would be really fun and then another idea if you don't have one of these for the kids to use to kind of make it more fun is you can use little manipulatives now i ended up buying some new counters I bought, uh, for the school year, just to kind of make it fun, I bought dinosaurs. This, These are from Learning Resources. So I bought this set, which is dinosaurs. I also bought a set of farm animals and a set of ocean animals. So he wanted to use the dinosaurs today, so I have them out already, so I figured I'd, I'd show you them. And basically what the kids can do is as they read it, they can put a little object on each one. So ham, jam. You get the idea, Pam. And they read them. Uh, you can talk about how the A and the M are the same at the end of all of these words. And so that's why we hear the rhyme because rhyming words sound the same at the end. And so he could just keep reading, you know, and as he reads, he can put a little dinosaur on each one. It just kind of makes it a little bit more fun for the kids. So that is what we're gonna do with these different cards and he will work on, so they have different vowels. So some are short A uh, or short, yeah, some are A, some are E, some are I, O, and U. So different word families, rhyming words from each of the different vowels, and you can just see the different ones. If you're interested in these cards, um, there I will leave a link below to where you can get these. And I'm pretty sure they're in my Ultimate Kindergarten Grade One bundles. I made these years and years ago. So, so um, yeah, we've had those forever. 
All right, so to continue with rhyming, I pulled out this activity. This is called Spin and Cover Rhyming Words. And with this, you use a spinner. Now, you can use a pencil and a paper clip if you don't have a spinner. I get my little game spinners from Amazon in packs of, I think they come in packs of eight to 10. And we just reuse them over and over. I just put a little piece of tape on the back and then we just tape them on to whatever activity we're doing. And then we use them, you know, again and again so I don't have to keep buying them. And uh, so on here, there's different, there's different pages, as you can see. And so this first, there, this page right here has short E-words. He would spin, whatever it lands on. So this landed on hen. He has to look over here and find a word that rhymes with hen. Well, 10 rhymes with hen, so he would cover up the word 10. Now, um, since this has an apple theme, I would probably use, I have little apple erasers that he can use to cover up his answers, but I don't have them out right now, and I'm not gonna go, go, go digging for them, so I'll just show you another thing. Um, we love to use our little pom-poms to cover up our answers. Uh, they're pom-poms with magnets on the back. So 10 and 10, he would cover it up, and then he'd spin again. Let's say it lands on bet, then he would maybe cover up jet, and so on. You so basically what we would do with these then is um, I would just take the spinner off, we'd do another one on a different day maybe, and we could talk about the rhyming. So wig rhymes with pig, and why is that? Because pig ends the same sound as wig, and so on. And we could talk about different word families. Maybe we can even say what, what else rhymes with wig and pig? And maybe he would say dig. So we could talk about that as well. If you're interested in this activity, again, I will leave links below where you can get all of these different uh, activities. All right, this is another activity that I took out that works on word families and rhyming. This is, again is a very, very old activity that I made years ago. And with this one, you get the different uh, word family mats. They look like this. And I just have them in these little plastic sleeves that I put them in when I, when I made it. I think I probably made this in 2016 or something like that. So it's been years because I made it for some of my other kids and now I'm moving it on to him. So once you take out the mat, then you also have these dice that it comes with. And so this is, um, let's see, let's do the short eye family. So you would need the short eye die, it looks like this. And it says, roll the die. So I'm going to go ahead and roll the die. I got it. It says, use the letters to complete a word. If you cannot complete a word, roll again. Continue until all the words are written. Then read each word. So I'm going to do ip. So here it has a z, so he's going to write ip. And he made the word zip. Roll again. I got ig. I'm going to write ig. And I made the word pig, and so on. So this time I rolled in, so I write in. I made the word and have the child read, pin, read whatever word it is. Now you can also have them, instead of writing it with a dry erase marker, you can have them do it with their magnet letters. Okay, so then what you could do is when they roll, let's say they roll in, you could have them um, use their magnet letters. I have, I have some magnet letters over here. And they could put the I and the N, and then they would make the word pin. Or if they rolled it again, the I and the N here, and they could make the word tin. So instead of using their dry erase marker and writing it, you could also use your letters. So again, this is an old activity that I made years ago, and I will leave the link to this one as well in the description box if you are watching this on YouTube. All right, continuing to talk about rhyming and word families, I have this word family sort and match activity. We're gonna use this on a pocket chart. Uh, I'm not going to take out my pocket chart and show you, but basically it just comes with cards and they have to match them up. So they have, like the top card would be, here you have X and the N, and then they would have to put the right um, cards underneath. So here's wet and set, like you set the table, and pet, those would all go underneath X. And then they also have the words. So we have the words that we could match up with those, wet, set, and pet. And then over here for N, we would have pen and jet, oh, Jack goes over here. And den, 
and 10, you get the idea. So they can match all these cards up in a pocket chart and practice their word families that way. So we're going to be doing that one as well. And it doesn't have to be done in a pocket chart, but I think that's fun. Another way, oh, you know what? Let me show you another way you could do this activity. Okay, so in your kitchen, if you have one of these platters that has the different sections, this is probably a good um, activity to use for this. So you would put the cards in each section like this and then they would sort. So, Okay, so for example, um, you could find the word. So he would just go through the words pet. Pet goes with et, and set, and wet. And then he would find the pictures as well. Pet, and wet, and set. You get the idea. And then I have um, 10. And so he would sort the N words in here. And then he has the pictures, pen, and a picture of a pen. We might um, sort all the pictures first and then the words or so on, however he wants to do it. But yeah, this so these little trays are good for sorting if you have activities like this where they, they sort things. So here we have op words, so hop and mop and pop and top. And then, of course, here we have hop and mop and pop the little pictures and top. So yeah, these trays are, are great for sorting as well. So this would be another uh, way to do it if you didn't wanna do it in a pocket chart. The last thing I have for rhyming are these activity cards. These come in, I have a, a big uh, activity card bundle of phonics activities and these rhyming cards come in that. And what he would do with these is he just has to Find the picture that rhymes. So this is a fan. What rhymes with fan? Pan or hat? And he would use, again, manipulatives to cover up his answer. Or you can use clips. We, we have used in the past the, the clothespin clips. So you could use that as well. But otherwise, you can use your little manipulatives and cover up. So fan, pan, red, bed, leg, peg, and so on. You get the idea. So these, these cards are fun as well. And again, you can use any manipulative you have to cover up your answers. All right, so the other phonics skill that we're gonna be working on this week is beginning blends. And what I'm doing here is I'm pulling out all of the beginning blend activities from my unit on um, beginning blends in my phonics for reading curriculum. So we're going to be doing all of these at some point. Um, we have our beginning blend candy sort. This is one of the hands-on activities from that unit and basically it has, it has a candy shop and they have to sort the different uh, beginning blends. So here is SK, the SK candy shop and then the candy pieces for that candy shop would be a skate, uh, a skate skunk, and a skateboard. So all of the cards are in here and he would just have fun sorting, well there's SK, sorting these different ones. Here's GL, so he would have to sort all of the GL candies in that candy shop. So that's one activity. So here's a quick clip of us using the sorting tray for completing that candy blend activity. Another activity from that unit is Play-Doh Make and Learn Blends. And so they have these cards and this one says make it with Play-Doh, make S-N. So he um, uses his dough to make a picture that starts with S-N. So here I already wrote snake and then he would use his dough, his, his Play-Doh to make a snake here. And then it says make the letters with your dough. So then he'd make the letter S and the letter N with his dough. So he'd make a picture of a snake with dough and then the letters. So that is how this activity works. And then we just pick another card and there would be another blend on it for him to do. Sorry, I'm kind of going through these fast, otherwise it's take forever. These are the filling, it, filling in the words. So here, clam. And so he would use his magnetic letters to make the word clam. Then you go on to the next one. This is a stem from a flower. So he makes stem. And then we talk about the blend, S-T and then clam. The blend is C-L and so on. So there's just a whole set of these that come with the unit. 
So another thing we're going to be doing are the Flip It books from the unit on beginning blends of my phonics for reading curriculum. There are a couple different books. This one, they have to find the right blend to match the picture, and it looks like uh, one of my other kids already did this one, so I need to erase his little marks. But you can mark your answers in these books with dry erase markers or with manipulatives or with clips, however you want to do it in these, these activity books. So this Flip It book looks like this. Uh, they have to find the word that matches the blends. Here they can use magnet letters or write it in, however they want to do it. Here they have to draw lines to match. So they're just different activity books. So we'll be doing these, these Flip It books. I think there's another one. Yep, here's another one. This is book three. This one is all missing blends that they have to fill in. You can see one of my kids already did that one. And then, is there another flip it book in here somewhere? Yeah, here's the other one. This one is the Blend Flamp Family Match where they have to circle the word. In fact, um, he just did this one today. So that's why you see these circles. He, he literally just did this one this morning. So uh, we haven't done the other ones yet, but we did this one this morning and he did pretty good. I think he got most of them correct. So there's that. And then um, the Fluency pages these are also from the same unit so we'll be practicing all the different words with beginning blends in these if you don't know how we do our fluency pages uh check out some of my other videos where i go through in depth on how we work on these this one's kind of hard for you to see because it's on like a bright purple but it basically has the missing blend and um, so we'll be working on those these are the fill it in mats for the different blends and so he can use play-doh to fill in the blend and then he reads the different words and we practice the different words that begin with that blend and we also use these for just practice in the morning so sn and snake sn and snap sn and snap sn and snip sn and snail and so on so we repeat and the repetition really helps them um, you know when you're working with children at this age Repetition is really honestly the key. Um, basic memorization is also another key for this stage of development because they're in their primer stage of development. And here's another activity that comes in that unit. This is beginning blend puzzles. And so what they do, hopefully I have one that's kind of easy to show you really quick. So this one is bowl for blocks, so they put the picture together. Looks like this, bull and block. And then they have to find the word. Do I have it over here? Yep. Okay, so they put the picture together, the three pieces, and then they find the word that goes with it. Bull and blocks. And they'll do that with all of the different puzzles that we have here for the different blends. So he will be uh, working on those. You can see some, I have the block example here and snake and snake. So there's tons of those in here. So that's another activity that we will be doing with that. And then the other thing that comes with this unit, these are the flashcards that come with the unit. And usually I put them on flashcard on sticks and we do different activities. But this time for this unit, I just put them all on these like rings. So we use these for all sorts of different activities in the morning. Like this morning we did coal and clock, C, L, full and float, F, L. And we went through all of the cards and practiced all of the sounds. So that's just kind of an introduction to what we do each day. Then we use the different pictures and the words and we do different matching activities as well. Okay, I just have a few more activities to show you and then I'm not gonna go through the math activities that I have in his box today or, because I think that it will make this video too long. So I'll do that in a separate video. But again, just to finish off the phonics activities, the English language arts activities that we have, we're still, again, working on beginning blends and these these two activities that I have here, they do not come with that same unit of my Phonics for Reading program, but they are fun activities that I made years ago that I still enjoy using with him. So this one is Matching Owl Blends, and it's really cute, it's a fish theme. And so you have like fish tank, this would be the PL fish tank, and then you would have to find the 
fish that have pictures that have um, begin with PL, like plants. There should be a fish with a plant. Let me see here. Yep. So you would find the fish with the plant. See, that's PL. And then you would match it up with the word plant and feed him with this fish food. And it all goes with his fish tank. So they're super cute and they have all different blends and we would match those up maybe in a pocket chart or again using our sorting um, tray or however we want to match all those cards up. So that's that one. This one we're going to do on a cookie sheet so that the magnets attach. This is a magnetic activity. So all of these cards or all of these blend circles here have magnets on the back and then what he does and i'm sorry for the glare the the light is not very nice to me today <laughs> uh so all of these uh, that he matches them up so for example here's glue so he would put gl here and then fly is fl and blocks are BL, you get the idea. And when we use it on a cookie sheet, the magnets go through and they attach. Now we also have on the back side some more. So FL for flower and BL for blueberries. You get the idea. GL for gloves, PL for plain. And he just go through and match all of them, all of the blend beginnings up with the pictures. So that's another really cute activity that we will be doing. And then finally, even though we've been doing beginning blends, and sorry if you guys hear my kids in the background, <laughs> even though we've been doing beginning blends, uh, we're going to do double consonants at the end of words. So we're going to do this activity which is sort of fun as well. And what they do is they have to find the double consonant. So this word would be pizza. They would use their magnet letters. Where did my magnet letters go? My son took them, so I can't show you. <laughs> but they would put two Z's in here with their magnet letters, and then they have to find the picture of the pizza. So one other quick skill we're gonna work on are double consonants. And so, yeah, so we will use this activity. So this would be ZZ, and then he has to go through and find, there it is, find and match up the pizza with pizza. And then after he does that, he go on to another one. All right, so this looks like it might be, so the choices are you've got L, L, you know, the double consonants, S, S, Z, Z. So this one looks like it's pressed. So they're pressing the button and then he would put S, his magnet letters SS right in there and then he'd find the picture that matches, press. You get the idea. This one looks like it would probably be mess so he'd put SS in there and he'd have to find the one that, ha that shows a mess which I don't know where it's at. Oh, there we go. It's the little baby, he made a mess. <laughs> okay, so, oh, there's two Z's. Well, you found me a capital and lowercase, that doesn't help. But all right, so thank you though. <laughs> we gotta get those magnets back from him. My um, toddler took the magnets and he's probably got them all over the house and making a mess and working on They're all on the couch, okay. <laughs> all right guys, so those are all of the phonics slash English language arts type activities that we're doing for the next probably week or two. Uh, however long that they take us to get through, then once we're through them, we will change out, I will change out his uh, box. But for now, those are the activities we're gonna be doing. I'll do another video to show you, because over here, in here, I have all of the rest of them. Those are all of his math activities, and I'll have to show you those in another video. So stay tuned for that. And I'm sorry if this video seemed rushed, or if I was saying the word um a lot, <laughs> I'm talking kind of quickly because I'm trying to get this done before I have two babies sleeping. If you don't know, and this is the first video you ever watched of mine, I'm a mom of eight and I have a lot of toddlers and babies. And so when I do my videos, I have to kind of uh, do them during nap time. And so I'm trying to get this done before they wake up. And so anyway, 
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was interesting for you and it helps you when you're planning out what your first graders are going to do as well. See you next time. Bye.